situations will arise in our lives, but you gotta be smart about it. Celebrations with the guys I sacrificed, cause I knew you could not sleep without it. Meanwhile, I, Up here in North Crackalackin. Dang, look at all these things up. Is it alive? Yes, you see it moving. Oh, That's why I was like, did you go put this on your hook? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna watch you do it first. Uh-oh, you got it caught. Talking about me, you messing up. Keep an eye on it. If it go under the water, let me know. So when it go under, that means a fish got it? The fish is biting it, yeah. Waiting to see if I can get something, y'all. All right, now, it's a ton of turtles out here, but where the fish is at? Meet me a big fish, not the little one. My patience is just a little bit too short for this waiting right now. Water, you gotta fish. There's one, one bit. Okay. Look, y'all. I caught a fish. My first one. Got a fish. That's a big one, too. Number two, and I recorded it this time. Putting them back in, y'all. Oh, I, I can do this. So after a long day of getting some content done, I like to do my evening skincare routine. And a huge part of my skincare routine has been using a new product from Dermatica. My main goal was to find a product that had anti-aging ingredients while also minimizing acne scars. I love the fact that you only need to use two to three pumps of product per day, which will last you up to 28 days. And you can receive up to two bottles every two months to last you up to 56 days. Unlike other skincare brands, Dermatica offers free digital consultations available 24 seven. So just as our skin changes throughout the year, you will always have the opportunity to personalize and change the ingredients in your formula when needed. Dermatica is best known to solve anti-aging concerns, boost skin glow, reduce breakouts and acne, hyperpigmentation, and many more concerns. This is a prescription skincare brand, so after you take a quick survey answering a few questions about your skincare concerns, a personalized formula will be created just for you. After using the Dermatica product, I like to go in with a moisturizer, and then to finish it out, I go in with my 
serum just as I normally would. So I love the fact that one simple product has gave me all the benefits that I needed within my skincare. So in order to try out Dermatica, follow the links below to start your skincare journey. You can also use the code Kennedy for your first month for only $4.99 and 10% off your second month, which is usually $29.95. Dermatica is offered to the US and also the UK. Thank you so much to Dermatica for working with me on this video and make sure you guys go check them out. Hey y'all, so I'm currently about to do my hair and makeup. So we're doing a baseball game today, just to get out the house, do something different. I think I'm just gonna curl my hair, put on a little light makeup. Let me try to lay down these eyebrows. I love this e.l.f. Clear Brow Lash Mascara. This stuff is the truth. I'm just gonna put this on the brows real quick. Okay. Got the hot comb so we can lay down this lace. By the way, I have no clue who is playing, but I'm on this baseball at this baseball game. I told my brother to send me the tickets and we go go just to spend time with them since we ain't done nothing together in a while. Some of the stuff that I picked up when I went, I got the Morphe Mini Continuous Prep and Setting Mist. I don't know if this is gonna come out like a bronzy shade, but I'm excited to try that. Good old e.l.f. primer, this is the Power Grip Primer. I needed some new translucent powder, all time favorite from Laura Mercier. Usually I just get regular translucent, but this time I got the translucent honey one. It has like a little tint to it, it's not completely translucent. I got some Juvia's Place products, blush palette, eyeshadow palette, the concealer. I had to restock on the Epic Wear waterproof eyeliner from NYX. This is the one that I've always used. When they say waterproof, it's really waterproof. I got a liquid blush and some bronzer. I also got some more Fenty gloss. I got two other products, skincare products. I got the Black Girl Radiance um, sunscreen and what else did I get? Oh, the Snail Mucin Serum. But those are in my room right now. So I just wanna show y'all what I had picked up from Ulta.
you chase Do more than you love when you make it Do try and come back when you're famous I always want the truth, but it's dangerous so I just finished getting dressed. I gotta touch up my lip a little bit. I just did a half up, half down. Added a little bit of curls to the hair. Ooh, the sun is hitting right here. Oh, I don't know why. Only do is so I'm just waiting on my brother. I don't know what's taking him so damn long, but. I had to stop and get gas. Before that, I forgot my wallet, so I had to turn around, go back home, and get my wallet. And we finally made it. We we gonna be a little bit late. Hola. Hey, kind of rush me. <laughs> Cause I'm already late. Tell him no, 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 no. Y'all, so we just found some parking. Headed to the game with Corbin. I meant to ask you, do you know how you got your name? Oh uh, yeah, Corbin. Uh, I, I wanted to tell the, to tell the story. Go ahead. <laughs> Just say no and act like you don't. Right. Okay. Do you know how you got your name? No. Have you seen High School Musical? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You watched it? Yes. There was a guy on there named Corbin Blue, y'all. So I told my mama, I was like, we should name him Corbin after Corbin Blue. And he had Big curly hair like him. So that's how Corbin got his name, y'all. Can y'all believe he taller than me, y'all? Still my baby, though. He's still the baby to me. Look like Paige, dog. Look at Fendi, y'all. He done got huge. Good morning, y'all. So it is the next day. Me and Corbin went to the baseball game. Game was good. Corbin ended up spending the night. So Corbin just finished driver's ed, y'all. So we might go do a little test drive. Cause I wanna see how he how he do, y'all. I never seen him drive before, so. So I'm about to let Corbin drive. I'm scared. We about to switch. I'm about to get in the passenger seat. What's the first thing you gotta do? Lossy button. Yep. Where'd today go? See, when I you press the... I know, I'm trying to teach you. Okay, let's practice your brake. When you brake, don't press it hard. Go soft, 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 and then press it all the way. Yeah, that. Okay. Doing pretty good. Okay, stop right here. Turn your wheel, turn your wheel. Gotta be on this side of the road. Okay, okay, okay. slow down, slow down, slow down. Dude, chill out, right? Who is you calling bruh? I am not your bruh. Everybody trapping, we get low. He ain't focused, yeah, but he ain't got motion. Made a half a ticket, 
got promotion. Shout out switch and sweet and keep me rolling. But if we get the out, we got us over. What is up y'all? Welcome back to the channel. Today is Monday. I'm out with Mr. Finster. We didn't even walk that far and it is like hot as hell out here. And I try to wait till like the afternoon time, like after 6, 6.30 to try to go. Just because the sun is, you know, setting. And I be thinking it's gonna be a little cooler. But girl, it's hot as hell. I literally live in like a really beautiful neighborhood. Every time I go walking, I just be thinking about that. Like, this neighborhood is really beautiful. So right now, I'm sitting in this little, like, little bench area where you can just sit and chill, listen to the waterfall and the birds and the bugs and whatever else. Why are he gonna start that thing again while I'm talking? Okay, y'all, uh, well, somebody cut nigger ass. Oh my god. If something come out of these damn trees, I'ma scream. I'm hearing all types of stuff over here. What Kylie say? I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Y'all, I am tired. Me and Fendi made it back from our walk. And I went back and laid down my edges because I had sweated them out during our walk. Hey y'all, so I'm back home from my walk. Change, got on just a white t-shirt, some shorts. Got these in my P.O. box. Because I wanted to do a painting for my office. I tried to do this one time. It did not come out the way I wanted it to. I'll try it again today and see what we come up with. We got some paint brushes. Let me show y'all where I wanna put these at. So if you come to the office, this wall right here, I want like some artwork to go right there. I also went back to Michaels, that's where I got everything from. So I got some black paint, gold, so this was the original color that I didn't like. It's like this pinkish color. I think that's what kind of threw off this picture is because I use this pink. So this time we're gonna use more of like this tan color, like a cream tan, y'all see that? Let me show y'all my inspo. So I found this one. See, that's a $200. I found these canvases for probably like $33.99. And then the paint, probably like $3. So this one's cute. But I'm just trying to give y'all an idea of the theme that I wanna go for. Yeah, just basically some abstract art. I've been to Houston and 
not things better than you, girl Came to conclusion, yeah, yeah Twenty-two when you been through things That you never should have ever been through Girl, I know you're twenty-two When you seen something That you never should have been exposed to, yeah Who I gotta protect you When you feel you are in danger You know what you know, no new man You know I'm a stranger You want to know what you're comfortable with You want to be with who you're comfortable with I know, no, 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 no I know, I know I can't let you go I know, I know So I am currently in the office room where I'm gonna be hanging up my pictures that I made. Also for my bookshelf, I got some stuff that I wanna put on there. I got some stuff from Target down there, some stuff from Amazon. Oh yeah, and I also got a rug because I feel like a cute little area rug would be nice to have right here. I'm kind of mad I didn't put this rug down before I put my computer and stuff up, but we are gonna figure out how we can move this desk and get the rug underneath it. Hopefully, I don't have to unplug everything because that'll be annoying. Ladies and gentlemen, there's something about this girl man, from around my way. If you try to hold back your feelings, put it just for me. So now that I got my pictures up, I found these little overhead lights that you can put over top of like pictures and stuff. I got two of them. This is the second box. Let's see what we're working with. I didn't know if I wanted to get gold or silver because this room has a lot of silver in it. It has a little magnetic part to it. And I'm guessing it just clips on like that. And then this part goes on the wall. And then there's a USB port. Comes with a USB charger. So when you need to charge it, the magnetic part just slides off. That is genius. I'ma stick these right above the pictures on the wall. Okay, that turned out so freaking cute. I'm glad I went with the gold because it matches super well. Let's see what it'll look like if I turn the lights off. Ooh, that's a little vibe. Hold on. This would seem a little crooked. Well, anyways, y'all get the point. That is how it looks. I really wanted to keep it kind of simple in here, not too much going on. I'm gonna wait till the morning to see how I really feel about it. So anything that I got from Amazon in here, I will link it, link it in my Amazon storefront. I know I told y'all that I will update it in my last video, but there is a lot of new stuff that I've gotten for the house off of Amazon. So I will update that for real, for real. So check the link in the description box to shop anything from Amazon in this video. One of my favorite things that I've gotten off of Amazon in this room is this chair right here. Cream color with like the black accent and it's super comfortable too. I really wanted something that was still cute but comfortable to sit in. And it just is giving sophisticated, you know? This rug I believe is from Overstock or Wayfair. So I'll link that as well. Hold on y'all, I had to go grab glasses. That's what this, this office make me feel like doing. Make me want to put the glasses on so I can really feel like I'm doing something. but not really like food groceries. I needed some little house stuff like paper towels, laundry detergent, that kind of stuff. So my groceries are here. I'm about to go downstairs and get them. Y'all, it is such a beautiful day outside today. Come on, Pindy. Literally, I have to say that at least like 20 times a day. Why is this dog walking down the street? Like, boy, you better act like, acting like you don't got it made at home. Pindy, come here. He didn't walk two houses down, y'all. This 
dog be acting like he don't get fed, don't gotta pay no rent, no nothing, and he wanna be running out the house like he don't got it made. Mm, 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 mm. See, I'm just about to like restock all of my little containers and everything. We're just gonna put in some B-roll, so let's go. Made it upstairs, got everything that I got from the store. So it is currently 8.30. I'm about to make myself some dinta. I don't know what kind of accents I be making. I just be making up my own accent. But yeah, I'm about to make some steak. I was craving steak. So I'm gonna do a steak and I asked for a lobster tail, but I guess they were out. But yeah, I got me a filet mignon. Let me see what she got for my replacement of my lobster tail. Okay, so she got me shrimp. Shrimp. I might put them on some little skewers, more vegetables. I got some potatoes. I could do potatoes or some rice. Potatoes go a little bit better with steak. These right here, roasted garlic mashed potatoes, where you ain't got to do nothing but put the powder in the pot with some water. These be busting. I almost prefer this over like regular mashed potatoes. I don't know. And yeah, I just put on this jacket. I still got on the same thing. It's so cold in my house, but I like it cold. Like I keep my air on like 67, 68. I just like it to be super cold in here. So I just put on this little jacket. So y'all got Fendi these wood smoked turkey bacon dog treats. And let me show y'all how I taught Fendi a new trick. Come right here. Sit. Lay down. Okay. So he he been knew how to do that. He got that out the way. But we done moved on to the third trick. Up. Up. Wait, come over here before they be talking about me having you in the kitchen. You know they gonna find something. Sit. Spin. Spin. Up. He like, girl, I done did it about 20 times. Sit, spin, spin. Okay, you can have it. He working for that bacon. I forgot I got these red lobster cheddar bay biscuits. Think I'm gonna have to make this with my steak. Minute made fruit punch. Had to get the apple juice, of course. I go through apple juice in like two three days i love apple juice and then i got some almond milk so i just got like the main stuff that i needed okay let me put y'all on to my favorite wine or my favorite two wines this first one i'm trying to put y'all on you know how to pronounce it Miami, Miami. This is my favorite red wine. And then, you know this is my favorite white wine. I always tell everybody to get me this one. Santa Margarita Pinot Grigio. I think I'm gonna do the red wine because you know that goes with our steak. Do change overnight. Do out of sight. You Cheers.
So this right here is the little butter sauce that they be putting on top of the bread at Red Lobster. I'm gonna brush this butter on our bread. All right, y'all. Dinner is served. Chef Ken did it again. I tried to make it, you know, you know how the chefs make it look all cute and pretty. Anyways, I'm about to go watch some TV, enjoy my food. Okay, so March 23rd, when I first planted the seeds to my plants, and this is what they look like now. So this is plant number one. This one, I believe, is tomatoes. I probably should have labeled the plants before. We got squash, sugar baby watermelon, and sweet peppers. Mind you, I don't know nothing about planting, so I'm about to repot this. I'm about to put it in a bigger pot. And these are the activities that you get into in North Krakalakin. You end up doing suburban stuff like this. So this is the life of living in the country. Okay, so I'm about to re, let me show y'all the pot that I got. Got a bigger pot. Here's the potting mix that I use. I watched a few TikToks on planting and stuff. So I'm gonna try to repot it. So it was definitely time for me to repot this. I'm talking like I know what I'm doing, but I guess when the roots start to like overflow like that, you're supposed to repot it. Hola, 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 hola. So, back home, went to Lowe's. You know, that was like a little test for run. I'm trying to get the hang of it. Now I feel like I didn't done enough research. I didn't experiment it. And I feel like I know what I'm doing a little bit more this time. So, now I'm gonna really make a real garden this time. So, got my garden bed out there. See, I got some sweet peppers. I got too many daggone seeds. Zinnian flowers. Like, it's giving. So I wanted to show y'all my vegetables that I harvest before. I literally put them in the refrigerator because I knew I wasn't gonna use them, but I did want to show them to y'all. I literally was saving them in this container just to show y'all because I was so proud of my first harvest of vegetables. So I grew this squash, y'all. It's like I am just so amazed. Like I really grew this. Like. This started off as a little tiny seed and grew to this. I just think that's so dope. I don't know, I, I just think it's really cool. So I grew that. I only got a few tomatoes. Some of them didn't even turn red because first of all, my pot was too little. So I learned whatever type of pot you use for tomatoes, it's gotta be deep enough for the soil. So, and then I got another little, um, this was a zucchini. My first fruit that I, um, not fruit, my first vegetables that I was able to harvest. So let me take y'all out here. Long thing is gonna be the garden bed. I got this black, ooh, not a little baby frog. But yeah, this will like go down to cover the cement. I'm gonna cut my little, I swear these tiny ones, the little, Watermelon, they be having more flavor. They're more juicy. Let me not jinx myself, because if I open this and it's not good, I'm gonna be disappointed. And I ordered this off Instacart, so I ain't get to like, you know, see all the options of watermelons. So. Ooh, it looks super ripe though. Y'all put salt on y'all watermelon, or y'all eat it just like this. I didn't drop it in the sink trying to 
trying to be cute and film on camera. Okay, let's see. Uh -huh. Tastes good to me. And it's got the seeds in it. Let's see if this would be a cute thumbnail. ASMR for y'all folks.